Hi, my name is Todd Poor, and today we're going to be learning two one octave C major scale shapes. Uh, the first one will be down here in the first position. Now there are going to be some open strings in this shape, so um, it's not going to be movable like the second one, uh, but it's still going to be a good one to practice, especially if you are interested in learning the notes on the guitar, uh, since we're going to be mapping out the uh, first three frets here. Uh, this will be a good way to get started on that. Um, here's our first one. We're going to start with uh, third finger, third fret, fifth string. Okay, so there's C. Alright, next note. Fourth string open. That's a D. The next note, uh, we're going to use our middle finger. We're going to put that on fret 2 of the fourth string. There's E. Alright, we're going to stay on the same string for one more note. We're going to put our ring finger on F. That's the third fret. Okay, two notes on the next string here. String 3 open gives us G. Middle finger fret two, same string, there's A. And then two notes left here, both on the second string, open B, and then first finger, first fret, second string, there's C. Okay, so here's the whole thing again. same notes, even in the same octave, um, except now all of those open strings are going to get moved to fretted notes, okay? So this shape is going to be movable, and I'll show you how you can do that after we learn. So now, uh, instead of starting off our ring finger on C, we're going to do this with our middle finger now, all right? So that's middle finger, fret 3, string 5, C, all right? Same string, pinky finger, goes over to fret 5, so that's D. Next string, E, there's uh, fret 2. First finger, string four, middle finger, same string, fret three, there's our F. Pinky finger on G, that's fret five of the fourth string. Uh, three notes left here, pointer finger A, that's fret two, string three, ring finger, same string, goes up to fret four, that gives us B, and then we put our pinky right on C, that's fret five. All right, so there's that one, one more time. this one scale shape, we can pretty much play any major key just by moving along the uh, fifth string. We can also play it off the sixth string. So we want to try to get this pattern down to where you can uh, play up and down fluently without really having to think about the shape too much. Okay, and then we can move it anywhere along the fifth string. Alright, so if I wanted to play D major, I could move it up two frets. Now I'm starting off D, now I have a D major scale. One fret up, E flat major. E major. F major. Okay, and if we wanted to play it off the sixth string, maybe I want an A major scale. Find A, fret five, string six, play it off there. A flat. G major. Okay, so any major key with that one scale shape. Pretty cool. All right, uh, so there it is. Thanks for watching. Check out some of my other videos. See you next time.